my name is James Beal. I'm actually um, with the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. And I was really honored when Annie called me up and asked if she could talk and do a quick interview with me. Um, full time and I'm, I am an itinerant school social worker for the Lower Kuskokwim School District out in Bethel, Alaska. The only way to get to Bethel is uh, from, uh, from Anchorage by plane. Um, we are off the road system. I serve seven uh, remote villages with the uh, Yupik Chupik uh, culture um, natives of Alaska. And I'm presently in one of the villages called Tuxic Bay. And that, what I want you to tell us is the story that you hinted at in your email today. Well, I had one well, of my friends um, in Bethel got the book and he uh, put it on a bush plane and sent it out here. So I wasn't able to read it. I opened it and put it on the table. Um, I had a student who um, attempted to shoot himself last year uh, during the closure when pandemic and he came um, to talk to me about a bad dream he had, flashbacks of his attempt. And as he was talking, he kind of kept looking at, looking at the title of the book, Emotionally Naked. And he asked me, what's that book about? They, and I told him it was about, you know, this author is writing about suicide prevention and, you know, inputs in the stories. And I said, okay, so what's going on? And he kept referring to that. And as he was telling his story about his dream, and we talk about lived experience and telling your stories. And after he was telling his story about it, he goes, now I know what that book means, that title. And it was like, what do you mean? He goes, you've got to expose all your feelings to someone. You really got to strip down to be naked and express everything, how you feel and what's going in your mind. And when, when he was saying it, it was like, you can see this big relief coming off of him because he, I didn't even get to read the book yet. <laughs> and he was looking at it and trying to relate to it saying, I had to tell all my emotion, my mental health, my feelings, my story, all my emotional stuff, I had to strip like I was going to expose myself. Um, after he left, after an hour and a half, I mean, even today, he came and visited me. He goes, um, when you're done, I got to read that book. Um, <laughs> but it really hit him just by the title of the book, Emotionally Naked. And it was like, wow, you know, that's exactly what we have to do as clinicians or school counselors or whatever, we're asking them to ex actually expose themselves. And so that book title came in at the right time. I wanted to share that with you guys because it was like, wow, it really, just the title impacted that kid so much that I even haven't even got the clue yet, mm. but he did. So thank wow. you for letting me say that. Thank you for sharing that.